Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman in his bat hazmat suit. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them if that's your sort of thing make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification bell so you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other content that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and it's free and easy for you to do with all that out of the way once again we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new mcfarland toys batman in his bat hazmat suit now this is from justice league the mazo virus I believe that is a comic book run uh, that was done a while back. I, I'll be honest, guys. This was a surprise release. I had no idea this guy was going to come out uh, when McFarlane Toys first announced him. And I had no idea where he was from. Uh, the only time that I've seen Batman use a suit like this, uh, similar to this, is in the Deceased mini uh, series uh, when he actually used Mr. Freeze's suit to slow down the virus that he was infected with uh, you know so that his transformation into a zombie would be slower um, and I guess this one has to do with something called the Amazo virus which was created by of course uh, Lex Luthor and it was a synthetic plague so that it would basically you know take away all the powers if you were a metahuman like superman aquaman wonder woman it would just strip them of their powers and if you were like batman just a normal person uh it would basically transform you into a mutated metahuman uh so he had to wear this suit so that he could you know stay uninfected from the amazo virus uh so yeah guys with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with he of course comes with the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse stand. Now these things are definitely coming in handy and really good to have. So I'm happy that they continue to include those in each figure. Along with a nice trading card. Here's the front. And here's the back. You can pause the video and screen grab that and read that if you'd like. But that is all the accessories that this guy comes with. Now there are two versions of this guy. This is the regular release and there is a gold label Target exclusive. Or in which this bat symbol right here in the middle actually lights up so and um <sighs> story time guys real quick real quick story time i actually had him in my cart in fact i actually ordered him or pre-ordered him on target and i just happened to misplace or misput uh the numbers of my credit card in the app and it canceled my orders on that reason and so i have to now hunt for him in store so this is just the regular release, and once I do get the light-up version, I will do a separate review and also a comparison of the two because, you know, I've started doing comparison videos here on the Cool Fears channel, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check out some of my comparison videos, which should be coming up soon. I have one up as of right now of if you're watching this video the day it comes out, but I should have another one coming out this week, so stay tuned for that. But with that being said, guys, we're not here to talk about other videos on this channel. We are here to talk about this Batman right here, so... With that being said, sorry guys, let's go ahead and pull him forward since we've taken a look at all the accessories that he comes with so we can take a nice closer look at this bat suit because that's what's always important, right guys, is the bat suit. Does it look cool? Does it look practical? Does it look like something Batman would wear? And yes, this is totally like Batman and obviously it is because it's straight out of the comics so definitely a cool figure I have to admit even though it was one that I was not expecting or one that I really necessarily knew about um, this actually also gives me hope that we will also be getting uh, eventually I'm not saying anytime soon but I'm hoping eventually uh, McFarlane will give us the hush version of Batman when he's gonna jump out of the plane and he has like all the tubing and everything right here um, because we are getting some lines from uh, different uh, comic series so I hope we do get a long Halloween line and also a hush line that would be really really cool seeing as we just got a uh, you know Dark Knight Returns line I think we can make that happen or I think McFarlane will make it happen eventually but until then this guy does have a really cool suit he does have a nice little pouch right here I wish they would have spent just a little more time to paint this though I mean it just it just I would just pop a little bit more with like some brown leather paint from the belt right there and um you can even make this the brown pouch right here and just some silver accents right there would have been nice uh other than that i mean that's really the only unpainted part right there that actually matters 
the belt itself is pretty nice it does have little rivets and stuff like that that could be painted but they're pretty small so it doesn't really matter uh, i do like the mid piece right here uh, it doesn't look all like a diaper like on some of the mcfarland toys uh, multiverse toys so that's really cool so yeah guys all in all it's just a really cool looking batman and obviously one i had to have when they announced him and I don't know what I'm going to do with this one once I get the light-up version because there's no point in having both. But I did want this one and, uh, you know, maybe I'll do a, uh, sell this guy or do a giveaway. I don't know yet. Uh, but we'll see what I do with him. Or maybe I'll keep him just as, you know, an extra Batman to have. Because it's always good to have an extra Batman lying around. But anyways, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation. So let's stand him up straight. As you can see, he's already been posed up pretty well. He has some pretty decent articulation. So he can actually look all the way to the right, all the way to the left, despite the hoses. They are long enough for him to do that. He can look down that far. He can look up that far. He does, of course, have some head tilt, wobble, swabble, wobble, wobble, blah, 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 and all that other fun stuff. His arms do go out all the way to a T-pose with 360 rotation at the shoulder, as well as a butterfly joint in there right there. You do get rope. Oh, no rotation at the bicep, I guess. Um, I think it has stuff for... Okay, so yeah, you do get rotation on the bicep right there. This one just happens to be stuck. Oh, there it goes. Just wasn't rotating correctly. So you do get rotation at the bicep. Double hinge elbows so he can touch his own face, touch the cables, touch the backpack right here. Rotation at the wrist, ball up, down. Uh, I'm still not the biggest fan of this, I have to admit. I'm still not the biggest fan of this. I understand where they're going with it because it's kind of like the Mezco one. As long as you rotate it in any which way, you can get it to turn. You know, you can hinge inwards, you can get it up and down. But it's just so exposed, it's kind of ugly. And I know this right here kind of hides it. And I know we didn't take a look at this, but he does have a nice little gauntlet with some clear stuff right here. Uh, take a look at the back right here. Really nicely done. Uh, this is just a regular gauntlet, but he does have, like, gadgets on this one. But, yeah, so I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah, they try to hide it on this end, but you can clearly see it right here. His torso articulation is really good as well. He can go that far to the right as well as that far to the r left. Uh, and the top torso, because also his bottom torso rotates right there, basically 360. His ab crunch is basically non-existent backwards as far back as he'll go looking at his leg articulation this batman can definitely join the cheerleading squad but he does kick out that far as well and he does not oh yeah he does kick back he'll kick back that far he does come with double hinge knees so his legs do go for that far back uh, you do get a boot cut right here you do get a slight thigh swivel right there Ankle pivot downwards, ankle pivot upwards. Once again, another ball rocker hinge joint right there. So you can move him with any which way. And last but not least, you do get toe articulation. So all in all, another great Batman figure from McFarlane Toys. And yes, it is another Batman figure. And do I care? No, because Batman is my favorite character of all time. So McFarlane, give us as many Batmans as you want. And I will definitely keep buying because I don't ever have enough batmans in my collection i hope you guys don't either and i hope you guys are looking at this guy to your collection whether it's the light up one or this one there is a price discrepancy between the two i believe the light up version is a five dollars more if i'm if i'm not mistaken so uh yeah be aware of that but anyways guys this guy i got him from amazon his pre-order came in randomly i didn't even get a notification or anything so keep your eye out for that if you did pre-order him on amazon but with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy and we'll be right back
so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for more thought out, planned out, more edited picks called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out if you like what you see. Leave me a follow there as well. Now, if you guys want to see the unboxing of this figure or any other toys I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. With that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magerall, aka The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFEARS at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.